Making free throws, win games, and more. My name's Mike Scudder. What I'm going to be doing for about the next 15 to 20 minutes is I'm going to shoot 200 free throws and talk to you about a method of shooting free throws that will hopefully get each one of you to make 90% or more in game conditions. The method is called TAP, Technique, Attitude, and Practice. There's a couple of stories that have kind of influenced this presentation. They point out the importance of free throws and what free throws mean at the end of big basketball games. First story dates back to 1983 Girls State Championship, State of Indiana. Over 10,000 people jammed into the gymnasium. There's five seconds left to go on the clock. The home team leads by three points. Visiting team is fouled. They've called timeout. Both teams go to the bench. The coach for the home team sends one of the assistants out to check for a place for the team to rest and get ready for the state championship celebration. He's got the game counted as a win. The visiting coach is thanking all the seniors for all their hard work. Talking to the underclassmen about what it took to get to this level in the state tournament. He's more or less conceded the game in the loss column. When they go back on the floor, the girl for the home team misses the front end of the one and one. Visiting team gets the rebound, hits the outlet, and a guard streaks the length of the floor, makes a layup, and is fouled at the buzzer. Situation is this, no time left on the clock. The home team now leads by one point. The visiting team has a player that has a one-shot free throw that'll send the game into overtime and extend their season. When they finally get everybody cleared off the gym floor, the player for the visiting team, both referees are the only ones left. You can imagine the pressure on this player's shoulders. She has one free throw to extend the season or close out her senior year on a sour note. She dribbled the ball three times, bottom of the net. Over time, and as luck would have it, her team won the game by five points. One of the greatest exhibitions of pressure free throw shooting I ever saw in person. 